Cyprus and the world in its effort to ensure food self-sufficiency. Hello and welcome to ABC World, the voice of Pan-Africanism with the latest news highlights of the hour. I am Tabitha John. Do stay with us. Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed has joined other African leaders at the Italy-Africa Summit hosted by the Italian Prime Minister Giorgia Meloni. The conference is being held under the theme, A Bridge for a Common Growth. During the two-day summit, Italy's proposed Mattei Plan for Africa will be discussed. Premier Giorgia Meloni said on Sunday, the objective is to present present to African countries our vision of development for Africa, which is the basis of the Mate plan. The agenda of the summit covers diverse areas of cooperation, including food security, culture education, vocational training, energy, security, economic and infrastructure development, as well as joint efforts against human trafficking and terrorism. The Mate plan is believed to create a new strategic partnership with African countries and address the root causes of irregular migration and beat smuggling gangs. Director General of the United Nations Industrial Development Organization, UNIDO, Gerd Müller, said Ethiopia has been becoming a model for African countries and for the whole world in its effort to realizing food self-sufficiency and achieve the goal of zero hunger. The Director General of UNIDO made the remark at an award ceremony hosted by FAO to the Prime Minister of Ethiopia, Abiy Ahmed, in Italy, Rome. On the occasion, Gerd Müller congratulated Ethiopia and its Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed for the great success in the sector of food security as UNIDO shares the common goal of zero hunger. The efforts being undertaken in Ethiopia to achieve the vision of zero hunger has really been showing great progress, citing the nation's achievement in doubling the yield in the sector of food and becomes an exporter. The pledged UNIDO's continued support to Ethiopia on its efforts to become self-sufficiency. He added that Ethiopia becomes something like a model for African countries and for the whole world. Ethiopia's quest for access to sea is very essential to its survival and to safeguarding the national interests of the country. Officials of Foreign Relations and Peace Affairs Standing Committee at the House of People's Representatives underscored. The officials told ENA that Ethiopia proposed access to sea to the countries in the region with a peaceful manner based on the principle of mutual development and shared benefits. Deputy Chair of the Committee, Fatia Mahadi, said that Ethiopia would find it challenging to support its rapidly expanding population and economy with just one port, so the nation needs multiple ports. The main goal of Ethiopia's quest for sea is centered on the realization of integrating among countries in the region with a view to ensuring their future survival, she added. Members of Foreign Relations and Peace Affairs Standing Committee, Balo Balobaye, for its part, recalled that Ethiopia used to have its own sea outlet, indicating the historical incident that the country lost its seas. Balo also mentioned about the measures being taken by the government to expand alternative ports in the region with a view to safeguarding its national interests, citing the recent agreement made with Somaliland. Officials of the committee stated that Ethiopia would not just sit and see the current development in the Red Sea, not only because it is the primary route for international trade, but also because a number of world superpowers are showing serious interest in the region.
welcome to Amsterdam. Amsterdam is a vibrant city, small and quaint with unique architecture. And everybody rides bicycles. Not only is it a cycling city, but it's quite small, so it's easy to walk around. So I've made my way to a place called Dam Square, which is one of the popular sites here in Amsterdam. It's home to that, which is the Royal Palace. There's also a church and a famous wax shop store museum. Madame Tussaud. just made my way to this place here called Albert Kaip Market which is this open-air market and they sell like almost everything from clothes, food, fruits, flowers. And finally, Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed reaffirmed his government's dedication to achieving both zero hunger objectives and the attainment of food sovereignty for national prosperity. The Premier also underscored that the homegrown agenda is a solid foundation to achieve all endeavors. Goshu Melissa has the details. I'm honored to present His Excellency Abiy Muhammad Ali, Prime Minister of the Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia. The World Agriculture Organization FAO awarded Prime Minister Abi its prestigious Agricola Prize for his outstanding leadership and dedication to enhancing food security and agricultural productivity, especially on wheat production. The accolade acknowledges his efforts to make Ethiopia self-sufficient in food and boost the availability of well-balanced nutrition. Abi received the award during a meeting of leaders from Italy and African countries in Rome. Patricius F. Agromatos, the highest award of the Food and Culture Organization of the United Nations from the FO Director General. And also, more specifically, you are my first offer and to, to you and from Africa continent. Since I come to the office, you know, I met this first, specially deserved for you and for your continent. Addressing the award ceremony, the Premier expressed his gratitude and reaffirmed Ethiopia's commitment to ongoing endeavors in achieving food self-sufficiency. I am deeply honored and grateful to the UN Food and Agriculture Organization for recognizing Ethiopia's diligent efforts over the past five years in addressing food and nutrition security. As I accept this very prestigious award, I would like to emphasize my government's commitment to not only meeting zero hunger goals, but to achieving food sovereignty and attaining national prosperity. Abi highlighted that Ethiopia is the home of abundant resources and favorable weather and energetic use population. He expounded that the homegrown economic agenda is a solid foundation to achieve all endeavors. The endeavors we have begun in the past five years are just solid foundations for the next generation. Five years ago, we introduced an essential policy turning point that generated the national homegrown economic reform agenda through which agriculture, manufacturing industries, tourism, mining, and ICTs were identified as key economic pillars and engines of growth. He further said the total farmed area increased by over 50% with the vast amount of land for crop production is still available for cultivation. The transformation of the sector has seen our total farm area increased by over 50%, with vast amounts of land for crop production still available for cultivation. As we continue expanding our potential 
in this sector, our focus on high value in industrial crops is yielding promising results as we have been planting drought tolerant, water efficient crops such as wheat, teff, maize and sorghum. Despite the context of challenging circumstances in the dynamic environment, Ethiopia continues to be a resilient nation remaining steadfast in its development goals and in attracting investments, the Premier noted. Finally, he invited potential investors to take a rewarding leap of faith and invest in Ethiopia. You're watching ABC World. Here's a quick reminder of the top stories. Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed attends Italy-Africa summit in Rome. And UNIDO says Ethiopia becomes model for African countries and world in its effort to ensure food self-sufficiency. That's all we had for now. I'm Tabitha John. Many thanks for watching. Have a good time and do take care.